What is going on, everybody? It is Jerry's Flow Two. I'm here with that official NBA 2K22 content. Now, this is for my dribble heads, my dribble gods that want to go absolutely crazy. You must watch this video before you make your build. This is important. We're going to be talking about requirements for the ball handle, the height, the wingspan, and everything. So, drop a like, drop a sub, because all we do over here is drop straight. Bang! Is in your five. Now, let's switch it up. I want y'all to look at something. Ankle breaker. Ankle breaker right here. To get it on Hall of Fame, you need a 94. Keep that in mind. Space creator, you need a 90. Quick first step. To get it on Hall of Fame, you need a 92 speed with the ball. And these are key badges that have always been essential, which is why I'm showing them. In order to get Hall of Fame Dimer, you need a 99 pass. For Dimer Gold, you need a 90. So this is stuff that, I'll, guys, I want you to keep in mind. But there's something crazy I want to show y'all. Remember when I told you in order to get Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, it had to be a 94? Well, you see it on the screen right now. It is a 94, right? But look at my height and look at my wingspan. Now watch this. If I move my wingspan to 6'3", I can no longer get Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker. Just because of one tick the player is 6-2 now watch this let's move him to 6-3 ball handle was a 93 wingspan 6-3 i can't go down no more you cannot make a player taller than 6-2 to get hall of fame ankle breaker uh i i i, I if I go up, it doesn't matter where I go. I, I, I love the 6'5 guards. You cannot get Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker. You could get it on gold, but the only player that can get it on Hall of Fame has to be 6'2 with the T-Rex arms. I just want y'all to take a look at this guard that is 6'2. Look how tiny he is compared to anybody but this is the only build that gets the hall of fame ankle breaker is hall of fame ankle breaker worth it this year in nba 2k22 i feel like it's a liability you're gonna have to run with a good center you're gonna know how to you have to know how to dribble to free yourself uh playing in pro-am or playing on a 3v3 and you have to have a bigger guard guard you uh it's uh I don't know man he's he's really short he is really short but let's look at these dribble moves all right guys so now we're in the animation store and once again there's restrictions on everything in this game that's why making a build is very critical um these are just the dribble styles restrictions a couple like this right here you have to have a speed with a 75 height under 610 speed with ball 75 height under 610 so these are some of the requirements that are not unlocked because i haven't upgraded this player but i did it on purpose because i wanted you guys to see the i wanted you guys to see exactly what's out there just in case you did make a taller player signature size ups you know these are some of the players you know carmelo you can't get it because you need a ball handle over 70 so you really need that high ball handle to get a lot of these things right here. I want to say at least an 85. Look, to get the D Rose, the Kimball Walker, you need at least an 85. Signature combos, D Booker, 80, 80, 85 to get the Irison. To get the Chris Paul is an 80. Steph Marbury is a uh, 85. Zach Levine is an 80. So you can get all these dribble moves. You just can't be over 6'10". So if you made like a 6'11", I don't know, playmaker stretch, you wouldn't be able to get these things. Size up packages, uh, the Kobe. All right, so at least an 80. At least an 80 if you just want to get some of the basic stuff. But the higher end, like dribble moves, definitely are higher. 85 and up. Moving behind the back. We have a whole bunch going on over here. Moving crossovers. Moving step backs. So 
so these are the requirements guys let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section i just wanted to get on here and just show you guys and uh have you guys created a bill just yet Larry Bird, got the KD, got the James Harden. Oh, I want to see this. Moving hesitation. Got the Rano, you got the got the John Wall coming over here. Oh, now this is very interesting. You can't switch your takeovers until you develop your mama mentality. So the mama mentality is still in the game for next gen. Now that is pretty cool. So let's run through the Hall of Fame badges. Ankle Breaker, you need a 94. Bullet Pass, you need a 97. Floor General, 98. Hyperdrive, 93. Quick Chain, 92. Special Delivery, 93. Triple Threat Juke, a 87. Or Speed with Ball, 85. Stop and Go, Ball Handle at an 89. Quick First Step at an 80 and we're 6'2 with a wingspan of 6'2 minimum weight and we can't get hall of fame quick first step needle threader 96 glue hand 74 dimer 99 pass bailout 95 brake starter 80 downhill 73 handle for days 91 that's a good one i can't can't lie now this one is dope too. This is one of the newer ones. Post Playmaker, 92. Space Creator, 90. And Tight Handles coming in at an 88. So this is pretty much the dribble head breakdown of NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy Jerz. Drop a like, drop a sub, and hit that bell for me, man. I'm just trying to drop straight bangers. Y'all know the vibe. Stay safe, stay blessed. And who knows what we're going to do next? I'm out here. Yeah.